This is a video to our presentation at IM Gold Corp. It's a Toronto Stock Exchange listed company trading your ticker IMG. A lot of gold plays have been pretty tough in 2014, especially through the fall. You can see the big tumble that IMG took in the beginning part of September through October. Seemed to have found a bottom though at the beginning part of November. Almost doubled in value from low to high. You can see IM Gold holding over top of this brown line, the 50-day moving average now. Pretty nice support setup in that area around 250. And while these plays are obviously so sensitive to gold prices, Technically speaking, it's a nice looking little chart that's going on with it. Nice little climb. Nice increase in volume on Thursday. And even if we see some fluctuations up and down, I want to pay attention to this chart going forward to see if this 162 mark was actually a true bottom for IMG. I see right off MACD's moved through the zero mark. That move into positive territory is a bullish sign. Although it does look like it's trying to flatten out some. We're not going to worry too much about that. First time in quite a while that the MACD is actually uptrended. So while it would be ideal to see it hold over top of zero, just holding some sort of uptrend would actually be a positive sign for this chart. So you can see this downtrend it was going through for such a long period. Slow stows not in a bad spot over top of 50. It's indicative of some momentum being held in the play. But again, you can see it starting to come down a little bit, just like the MACD's flattening and the money flow index. Also in a bullish position on the upper half of the indicator, but coming downward. And those little hints right there might be suggesting that I am Gold's going to see a little pullback first before making a decision to try and continue this upward path. In that same vein, the relative strength index holding over top of 50. You can see the 14 right about 57. Tells me that the bulls are slightly winning the momentum battle. What I look for in support is there is some right through here around 275. But what I'd want to see is 250 hold. It's not a lot of support in sight again until down around $2.00. Of course, that's a pretty hefty fall from 289 on Thursday, back down to $2. Again, it wouldn't be the end of the world if it does make a higher low. It's already made a higher high. But just for general strength of the chart, I'd like to see it hold over top of the 50-day and try and keep somewhat of a stronger pattern and an upward trend along those lines. To the resistance side of things, this is a peak at $3.12. I think you can see that kind of tying in just slightly above a resistance point around $3.25 because you could actually stretch this out all the way back to June to see if that was a support level. So while there's going to be some resistance right here at $3, as the chart in the near term has really been struggling to push through that, I'd look for $3.25 to be a much more difficult spot. Beyond that, I don't see a lot again until all the way up near the area of $4. Now that's obviously a big move, more than 33% from where it is. Not looking for that tomorrow. Really, I am gold just caught my eye because of the uptrend it's been going through and that volume spike on Thursday. And given the fact that it's lost so much of its value from summer levels, I just want to keep an eye on this in the mid to longer term to see if some definitive resistance points can be put in place and if this chart can uptrend going forward. So those are the type of things that I'll be looking for in the IMG chart. But as always, merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.